It's time for high school basketball game night. Now here's your play-by-play -play announcers for tonight's game. Hello and welcome to Northview High School tonight where the Northview Cougars are taking on the Headland Rams. I am Mick Kirk along with Brandon Bryant. And uh, Brandon, this should be a high-flying circus act tonight. You're right about that, man. It's always good to be with you on the mics tonight. Of course, we're here at Northview High School. Of course, Headland is only six minutes up the street. So anytime both of these schools play each other, you can expect a high-flying game tonight. Of course, the entire city of Headland is here tonight. So let's get ready to play some basketball as both of these teams are looking for that elusive win tonight. And the ball goes off the hands of the Cougars. So starting for the Cougars is number three, A.J. Williams, number four, Billy Ford, number five, Justora Reynolds, number 23, Malik Johnson. For the Hemlin Rams, number two, Jimmy Spann, number three, Jay Simpson. Number 12 is Tay Washington. Number 30 is LeBrennan Nix. And number 34, Andrew Morgan. So Helen gets on the board first on the basket by Washington. Good feed to Ford oh by the slam. Billy Ford picking up where he left off. I tell you what, man, they got to watch him tonight. Then Ford gets a big rebound to Reynolds. Shoots. Won't go. Rebounded by Nix. The Rams. Jimmy Spann. Shot wide open. Won't go, but rebounded. That shot was uh, by Andrew Morgan. And we have a foul. That foul is on uh, Jimmy Spann, his first, and the team's first. Ford gets the pass, and off to Malik Johnson for the slam. So Northview has four points and two slams. Well, I tell you what, Mick, we said it in the beginning of this game, it's going to be a high-flying game, and Northview's coming out the gate with it there. And a foul. That foul is on number three, A.J. Williams, his first, the team's first. <laughs> At the line is number two, Jimmy Spann. The opening minutes of the game. We played about a minute and a half, and Span makes one of two. So it's a 4-3 Northview lead. A.J. Williams. Harris into Reynolds. Misses. Ford gets it back, and it's taken away by Hedlund. Good move, inside move by number three, Shay Simpson. So Hedlund goes up by one, five to four. Three-point shot, counted from number 13, Terrell Harris. Hedlund inbounds the ball, it's number 30, Nix. And it's looked like AJ is going to pick up uh, his second foul, and that's something they don't want to happen here. So he's picked up two quick fouls, and AJ Williams is just uh, uh, such a powerful and uh, such a big part of this Northview team. Yes, and don't be surprised to see Coach Flem actually bring him to the bench. Because, like I said, we've only just got into the game. About 2:30 has gone by, and he's already in foul trouble. Good rebound and put back by, by Tay Washington. That's four points for Washington. Reynolds, cross court pass to Ford. 
Harris back to Reynolds. Reynolds kicks it out. Sean Holmes, 4-3. Count it. I'll tell you what, Sean got hot in that Dothan game. He had four threes in a row. And I tell you, it was the difference in that game. He's a very great, he's a great three-point shooter. Northview on top, 10 to 7. Headland taking their time, passing the ball around. Fade away, won't go, rebounded by Johnson. Over to Harris. Harris pulls up for a three, misses, and it's rebounded by Washington. And wide open is number two, Jimmy Spann. So it's a 10-9 Northview lead. The Cougars turn the ball over. Shot won't go, rebounded by Ford. Over to Holmes. Holmes pulls up for a three. I think he rushed that one a little bit, so it's going to be uh, Hedlund's ball. So both teams so far has come in this game high flying. Of course, Northview, uh, this is their home court. And uh, like you said, we've seen some of everything so far. Into Reynolds, he kicks it back out. Ford looks over to home. Tomes goes for another three. Woo! Did somebody call the fire department? Because Sean Holm is fired up this building. Yes, it is. It, we got smoke signals, smoke flares all over the place. And I tell you what, Northview's playing like they're going for a state championship. You can't tell them anything right now other than some great basketball. And they're going to call a foul. That foul is actually going to be a hit. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, if they keep letting Holmes loose, it's going to be a long night for the Rams. And that's right. And don't be surprised that they're going to actually try to double team Holmes. But like you said, Mitt, Holmes is one of those guys, if you don't watch him, he will burn you every time he gets the ball. There are a few. Harris, and he's called for traveling, so that's two turnovers for the Cougars here midway through the first period. They're leading by 4, 13 to 9, 331 left in the opening period. Jumper, no good. Reynolds rebounds it for the Cougars. Harris, forward into Johnson, left hook, and it goes, Malik Johnson. I tell you what, he looked like Magic Johnson on that hook shot right there, man. <laughs> hey, that could be some relationship there, you, you just, know? You never know. Some relation. That's four points for Johnson. Three, won't go, rebounded by Reynolds. To Johnson. Drives the basket, woo, and a block, and a no call. Good hustle, good play that time by Jay Simpson. And what a, what a swat by Hitler on that. And of course, there's going to be a foul on Northview. And that foul was on number 30, Nix. And we got some substitution coming in for both Northview and Hetland as Hetland gets ready to take the ask. Actually, Northview is getting ready to bring the ball inbound. And for Northview is number 14, Mitchell, and number 15, Lee. Home goes for another three. He misses, and Reynolds gets the rebound. Mitchell. Floater, won't go, rebounded by Morgan. The Rams, two on one, and they blow it. 
those are opportunities meant that you can't miss on that. That was an easy basket, but it is just overdid it on that Northeast ball. Those kind of plays give coaches uh, gray hair. That some of everything. I think we've we've covered many games where we've seen that happen with coaches. So it, it's going to be the Cougars ball. We're down to two minutes left in the opening period. 15 to 11, Northview leading. Reynolds up, goes. And that was uh, to Starro Reynolds. Shot won't go. And a strong rebound that time for number two, Northview Jeffrey Mitchell. Sean Holmes pulls up for the shot and it's blocked. Headland 2 on 1 again. And they commit a turnover. They've had uh, 2 on 1 a couple of times and they haven't been able to take advantage of it. Double dribble on Thomas. Good call on that. Good call on that bit. At first, I thought you was in the game. Referee, now you actually called that before the ref did. Yeah. So it's going to be the Rams ball. Northview's in a full court press, and and. Uh, they almost forced a turnover that time. They're up by six points, 17 to 11. Snell takes it out for Hedlund. This press is giving uh, Hedlund some problems. Yes, it is. And we're going to see a foul there. That foul is going to be on number 15, Northview. That's going to be John Tate Lee. He is a sophomore. That will be his first foul. So to the line right now for Hetland, that's going to be number 12. That's Tay Washington. He is a senior for the Hetland Rams. I'm sorry, that's number two. two. That's going to be Jimmy Spann. He is a junior for the Hetland Rams. Spann is one of two from the line tonight. That makes him... Two of three with four points. Holmes takes his seat and to replace him is Roderick Melton. Second shot and it's good. So Span hits both of his free throws and it's down to a four point Northview lead. And that time, Thomas got caught in the air and had nowhere to go but out. So, Northview commits that third turnover of the period. Traveling called against uh, Murphy, Murray at least. Northview uh, without their starters in the game, they in for a rest. Whoa, and a block by Headland and a foul by number 12. Well, I tell you, we've seen dunks, we've seen blocks, we've seen slaps. I tell you, you would think this is a WWE matchup out here tonight. <laughs> I tell you. Um, Hedlund's done a good job defensively. They blocked a couple of shots that looked like they were going to be easy shots. Well, they're making Northview work tonight. If they're going to get those baskets on dunks or whatnot, they're going to work for them. And we got a missed basket there as Northview again putting the pressure on Hedlund. Here comes Hedlund down the court. Good move. Won't go. Rebound. Shot. Missed. And the Cougars save it. Shot at the buzzer. Oh, wow. 
And it hits the back of the rim and goes out. So we've come to the end of one, and the score is Northeast 17, Headland 13. We'll be back with more action after this timeout. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. You see the fan sexist Northview student section, and they call themselves the Fleming Fanatics. If you notice, there are a group of them wearing bow ties, just like Coach Fleming's wearing a bow tie. So, I tell you what, <laughs> you're right about that, man. I'm hate to cut you off there, but uh, yeah, they that's the Fleming Fanatics group over there. So we are getting ready to start the second period of play with the Cougars leading 17 to 13. And the Rams inbound the ball. That's Taylor Reeves. Drive off the glass, won't go. Reynolds gets the rebound for the Cougars. Shot from the corner. 4-3, count it from number 12, Michael Reynolds. That's Northview's 4-3 of the game. Hedlund comes right back and puts up two for number 30, LeBron Nix. Reynolds into Johnson, and he's tripped up. Foul is on number 23, Robert Snell, his first. Into Malik Johnson. He puts it up and won't go. Billy Ford saves it. Back to Johnson. Oh. And he goes for the slam, but it won't go, but he draws the foul. I'll tell you what, Malik Johnson, he's a big guy. And anytime he gets the ball, you got to be careful because he will take it to the rim. Each time, of course, he was fouled on that, so he'll be going to the line for two. That foul is on number 30. But Brandon Nix, his second at the line, is number 23, Malik Johnson. He has four points. Make it five. Northview on top by six, 21 to 15. We're in the opening minute of the second period. So Johnson makes both of his free throws. Three-pointer won't go. Rebounded by Michael Reynolds of Northview, and he's fouled. He's tripped up by number three, Jay Simpson of Hedlund. So Northview's now in the bonus. So a substitution into the game. Jimmy Spann in and LeBron Nicks out. At the line is number 12, Michael Reynolds. Reynolds had a three-pointer. And he makes his first. So he'll get a bonus. Reeves take a seat and back into the game is Morgan for the Rams. And Reynolds makes both of his free throws. It gives him five points for the game. And Northview up by their biggest margin, nine points, 24 to 15. And it's a Hitland turnover. That, that press is getting to uh, the Rams. It really is. And so far, I mean, Hitland has already committed, I believe, three turnovers. And uh, again, like you said, it, it is pressure that Northview's putting up against the Ram that's being very costly for Hetland right now. Kelly Ford, 4-3, short. 
He hustles and saves it back into the hands of Headland, and it will stay with the Rams. The Cougars double team. Then a wide open shot from the top of the key won't go. And it's rebounded by Harris. Harris goes up off the glass for two. And you know, Mitt, that actually caught number 34 for Hitler, Andrew Morgan. It caught him by surprise. He really didn't even see the ball come back towards him. But, of course, Northview ran away with it with the easy bucket. That foul is on Andrew Morgan. At the line is number 13, Terrell Harris. Harris has a three-pointer. And would you believe Harris is a ninth grader? He's the only ninth grader on this team. And the shot is good. So Harris makes a three-point play out of it. Northview up by 12, and they force a headland turnover. Cougars on the run. Shot good from number 13, Terrell Harris. And we were just talking about him. He's a ninth grader. He's come out and put up eight points for the uh, Cougars. So we have timeout on the court with 6.01 left in the second period. And the score is Northview 29, Hedlund 15. Northview's on a 12-2 run here in the second. They led by four points at the end of one, and they have taken a 12-point lead. And a three-point shot attempt and missed, and Billy Ford comes up with it. Out to Malik, back to Ford, and he's fouled. And that is Hetland's fifth turnover of the game thus far. That foul is on number, it said 23-24. Number 24, that is uh, Reeves. At the line is Billy Ford. Ford has two points. Well, that makes it three points tonight. He had that slam at the beginning of the game. Northview had back-to-back -back slams uh, to get this, to this game going. One from Ford, then uh, one from Johnson. So Ford makes both of his free throws, and Northview shooting 100% from the line. And the ball is taken away by the Cougars. Ford, nice feet, and over to Harris. He misses, but he's fouled. That foul is on number three, Jay Simpson. At the line is number 13, Terrell Harris. He's one of one from the line tonight with uh, eight points. And that's Northview's first miss as a team tonight from the free throw line. And he misses both of his free throws. So it will be the Rams. It was a foul. I didn't get the number uh, player foul number four. That was uh, Billy Ford, Ford called for the foul. Uh -huh. So here comes Hedlund. Ford just trying to look for answers. And there's another turnover. It's the sixth turnover of the game. Here comes no Ford. <laughs> Wow. He, he, he didn't quite get up high enough to slam it, but it was nice looking layup. Good follow up that time from Ryan Murphy. North York 33 to 16. So 
we have some substitution coming in for Northview number 20, Sean Holmes. He will be replacing number 12. That's Michael Reynolds as Northview inbounds the ball. Northview is right now on a 16 to 4 run. Number 24 gets on the book. A Susan. And that's their seventh turnover of the game by Hetland. Northview turns it over. Whoa! Uh, Mitt, did we bring any raid spray tonight? Because I tell you what, it's been a lot of swatting going on in this gym. I tell you what, it, it has been. That foul was on number 23, Johnson. His first at the line is number 24, Taylor Reeves. First is good. We have four minutes and 40 seconds left in the first half. So Reeves makes both of his free throws. So it's the Cougars ball. Holmes. Fake pulls up for the shot. It's a two from Sean Holmes. So that's eight points for Holmes. And a miss by Hedlund and out to the Cougars and whoa, bodies and balls was flying everywhere. Now I tell you, man, <laughs> this is a WWE matchup tonight. It really is. But both teams are coming into this game and they've been really playing some good basketball. Helen just right now, they have not found a rhythm like they did in the first two minutes of the first quarter. And one of the reasons is uh, Northview defense has definitely been giving them problems. And they have, Northview has four, six Headland turnovers here in the second period. And the Headland has committed eight turnovers for the game. So Hedlund just got to, they got to get that rhythm going in. You know, something me and you talked about during the Dota High broadcast one night was just got to get back to the basics. And they're going to call a foul. That foul, I believe, is going to be on number two, Jeffrey Michael for Northview. No, it was on 2-3. Two, 2-3. Three. Two, um, three. Yeah. Uh, no. 3-3. Three, three. It's going to be 33. I'm sorry. Yeah, That's going to yeah. be Grissom. Grissom. Yeah. At the line, shooting for Hinton is number 40. That's going to be Ryan Murray as he misses the first of two free throws. Ryan is a senior. We have a timeout on the court with 4-1 left in the first half. Northview leads 37-19. to You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Um, oh, saw it in tight on him at the line. Real tight, Brandon. Going in, yeah, real tight. And then tight, 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 tight. On, on, on the one shoot free throws. Start on him. Okay. All right, I'm ready. All right. Murphy is, Murray is at the line. And he misses the free throw and is rebounded by the Cougars. Mitchell. Holmes left wide open. He missed, but the, a Cougar rebound and put back won't go. And a Hitler player comes out with it, and it's going to be saved. A great effort that time by Murray. Long three. Yes, count it. That's from number 12, Tay Washington. Seven points for Washington. And the Cougars commit a turnover. Whoa! Did you all right down there? All right. Great hustle. Great hustle by our boat going after that ball. Can, can, uh, are we are we good down there, Mick? Can you hear me? We lost our mic. Yeah, we, we lost our net microphone and. Uh, Mitt, uh, may want to adjust your mic there. You're kind of in and out on me up here. But uh, we'll go ahead and go 
Uh, they're going to say Northview stepped out of bounds. He has uh, committed a couple of fouls here early. Here lately. I might like to have been a casualty of that. And so, um, Hitler's going to be going to the line shooting for two. Of course, Northview committed that foul. That's going to be, that foul again is going to be on number 33 for Northview. Yeah, Jeff Jensen has called for the foul. I think we've got a little shift up here. Uh, the audio is a little. Yeah, yeah um, we will apologize for the technical course, the technical difficulties, of course, as you saw just a minute ago. Uh, my colleague Mitt down there uh, was uh, the broadcast booth table got hit, so it, we're we're working on it. We're we're getting it taken care of. We're okay, bud, and I think uh, what happened is we just got kind of okay. they hit the, the cables that are uh, connected. So and that shot is good for number two. Home goes for three misses. And it's rebounded and missed, and uh, it's going to be out of bounds off of Northview. Uh, it's going to be out. It's Hedlund. So number 34, that's going to be Andrew Morgan, brings the ball inbound. He gives it to number 30. That's going to be Mix. Yes, so we are. That's the... Uh, He makes both of his free throws. All right. That sounds better down there, Mitt. Yeah, it was, uh, I, I have a spare mic down here, so <laughs> I picked it up. All right. There's Norfew. He passes it. Trying to find control. Pass it back inside to what is on that one. He misses. Rebound. He's going to get his own pass with the easy yeah. bucket. That was good. Uh, good play that time coming from Malik Johnson. That gives him uh, eight points. And it's uh, the Cougars are leading by 13. 39 to 26. Good hands that time by Billy Ford. So the Rams will be taking the ball out into number 40. Traveling is called on Ryan Murray. So it would be another Hitland turnover. And the Cougars turn it over that time. And a good shot that time from number two, Jimmy Spann. So right now, Hitler has found a little bit of momentum to get this lead down to just 11. Spann has eight points. Reynolds goes up, and I tell you what, Hedlund has rocked quite a few shots tonight, Brandon. They have, been, and you know, they kind of started out slow in this game. They they couldn't have that rhythm going. Of course, we did see the lead at one point in time get up to almost, I believe, by 13 or 14 points, but they got a little rhythm. They got a little momentum going. They just really had to go back to what me and you talked about earlier with just basic fundamental basketball, slow it down a little bit. But um, Northview right now, they just got to, uh, you know, ease up on the turnovers and stop sending Hedlund to the free throw line. So for Hedlund at the free throw line, that's going to be, I believe, mid number 40. That's going to be Ryan Murray. Yeah, he's uh, 0 of 2 from the line tonight. And that makes him 1 of 3. And, uh, you know, Hedlund started very slow in this period. And uh, they have come on strong here in the closing minutes of the first half. 
right? Northeast started strong, and they have slowed down some. They really have, and of course, he misses that one. He cuts the lead to 10 points. And Northview's playing a little out of control right now. A.J. Williams for a three, and he misses, and Hedlund's on the run. Inside, good strong move by number 40, Ryan Murray. Five points for Murray, and it's down to an eight-point lead. Billy Ford, yes. Ten points for Ford. Eight points for Ford. And then he hustles and steals the ball. Ford gets the rebound up. Won't go. And he keeps battling for the ball. It's going to be out off Northview. But a great effort by Billy Ford. I'll tell you, I like that kid. You know, we, we were talking about him uh, at one of the other games. He, he just, he plays the full game. Whenever he's in the game, you can get, you can uh, be guaranteed he's going to give you 100%. And he's an all-around player. I mean, he's an all-around player. It doesn't matter where you put him at, in any position, he can play it. And there's an almost another turnover three by Hedlund. Count it! Wow, Hedlund's starting to get warm here. I tell you what, Nick. Don't sleep on the Rams. Yeah, see, it's down to a seven-point game, and Northview were up. Uh, they led by 14. Yeah, I was going to say, as many as 14 at one point in time in the game. Ten seconds left. Ford goes for the shot. Yes! Billy Ford hits a big three at the buzzer. I tell you, we were just talking about him. <laughs> and what does he do? Hit a big three from the corner to take Northview into halftime with a 10-point lead. So we'll be back with second half action after this timeout where the Cougars are leading the Rams 44-34. to You're watching the Sydney Sports Network. Hello and welcome back to Northview High School where the Cougars are hosting the Rams of Hedlund High School. I'm Mick Kirk along with Brandon Bryant and uh, it was an exciting first half, Brian. Uh, Brandon, we talked about it and it was a high-flying circus. It really was. Dun, 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 dun. That's the kind of music that you was hearing and here from both, of course, Northview and Hedlund. Of course, Northview came out of the gate. They were on fire. They had two dunks, several three throws, uh, sorry, three-pointers back-to-back. And then in the second quarter. Oh, what a dunk there by number 23, Malik Johnson. And you know, I was about to say Northview's first two baskets were dunks. The first one by Billy Ford, the second by Johnson, and how they start the second half with a slam by Malik Johnson. Oh my. And oh, they got a slap there by Malik Johnson too. And I'll tell you what, man, has this become the Malik Johnson show tonight? <laughs> well, here in the opening uh, minute of the third period it has. <laughs> Well, going back to what we were saying earlier, of course, in that second quarter, Northview just slowed down. And, of course, Hedlund, they finally got a rhythm going to actually get the lead. Um, at one point in time, Northview led by as many as 14 points, and Hedlund cut that lead down at half to 10. So, you know, it's kind of been back and forth for both teams. Of course, this is a new game as what co most coaches started in the second half. So who will come out victorious now? We'll find out. So Hedlund commits a foul. And Northview commits a turnover. And that second period, Northview was on a 16 to 4 run, probably midway through the second period. And Hedlund put together a good run to, they put up 21, point, uh, 21 points in the period. And. Um, Northview put up 27. You're right. And a great uh, great shot there by number 40. That's going to be Ryan Murray on the play for Hetland for an easy two basket. 36-46 is the score. Murray uh, has seven points for him. Boy, the Cougars almost commit another turnover. Not very good ball handling by the Cougars right now. You know, and right now with them having a 10-point lead, they just got to slow down a little bit. They got Hetland exactly where they want them in this game. Three-point shot. 
Missed and rebounded by Morgan. Ford is called for the foul. And will that basket count? Let's see what the official says. No, no, no basket. No basket. All right. It was a floor foul. Okay. And Hitland is going to take it out. Hedlund's being a lot more aggressive than Malik Johnson again. Two blocks here in the third period, a slam and two blocks. I'm telling you, Mitt, I, I don't know, did we bring any kind of bug balls or raid spray because he's been on it tonight. Traveling on Hedlund. I, I think, I don't know what Coach Fleming's uh, told uh, the league at halftime, but he's definitely stepped it up here in the third. He really has. A.J. Williams has been quiet tonight, and uh, Ford gets the rebound, goes back up, misses, and it's rebounded by Hedlund. And good layup that time for number 12, Tay Washington. Washington had seven points in the first half. That gives him nine for the game. Northview is being very careless handling the ball, but A.J. Williams comes up with a steal and Johnson, and they're going to call a jump ball, and possession arrow goes to Hedlund. And right now we're seeing some sloppy ball movement by Northview. They've already had a couple turnovers back-to-back. -back. That's and, not what Coach Fleming wants. And they're down. Hedlund has cut that lead down to eight points. So Northview's got to do a better job of handling the ball and take better shots. They're going for too many threes. And that was a good layup that time for Spann. He had 11 in the first half. That gives him 13 for the game. That cuts the lead down to six for Hedlund. Johnson picks it up and draws the foul. So to the line for Northview. That, that foul is on number 40, Ryan Murray. And we'll so Malik Johnson has scored all of Northview's points here in the third. Wow. He's got two blocks and two baskets. And he's at the line, of course. So he makes a three-point play out of it. That gives him uh, 13 points for the game. Billy Ford with the steal. And Hedlund gets the ball back after the Northview turnover. And again, turnovers are going to uh, – turnovers, they could be deadly in a game like this, especially when a team like Hedlund is playing – the way that they're playing to cut this lead and get possession. Hedlin trying to cut that lead even more. Shot missed. Johnson goes up high and it slips out of his hand right into the hands of oh, Murray for two. That's nine points for Ryan Murray. And it's down to a seven point Northview lead. Three-point attempt, and it's good from number 13, Terrell Harris. That's his second three of the game. He has 11 points. Substitutions into the game for the Cougars. Number 20, 21, and 14. 20 is Holmes, 21 is Thomas, and 14 is Mitchell. They left the uh, Hedlund player wide open. Hedlund's doing a much better job rebounding. They are, Mitt. I was going to say that. Go, go. You know, it's like this half, you know, it's been all Malik Johnson. He's not getting much help from his teammates. No, he's not. And there Holmes is goes for a three. Missed and good rebound and a pass over to Ford. A great assist that time coming from Mitchell to Billy Ford. 13 points for Ford. 
But back to what you were saying about the Hetland Rams is that they, they have been controlling the ball. They've been getting those rebounds. Northview just right now, there's just a couple turnovers that they've been getting there, and there's a basket, and it's going to be an air ball. Ashley's going to be saved, and it's going to be Hetland's ball. But you were right, Nick. It's just, you know, that's what you that's what you do in basketball. Of course, you being a basketball player is getting those rebounds, getting those easy points. There's no reason why that you should not be able to get two points off a rebound like that. That never should have been a turnover by right. Northview. So with 349 left in the third, the Cougars are leading 54 to 42. Hetland gets another chance. Shot, no good, but a good tip in from Nix. Good position that time by Nix. And Norfolk commits another turnover. That's two in a row. And Johnson's going to be called for the foul. That's going to be two on him at the line. It's number 40, Brian Murray. He is just one of four from the line tonight. But both teams have been doing a really good job from the free throw line tonight. As a team, in the first half, Northview shot 77%. They were 7 of 9. Hedlund shot 9 of 11 for 81%. Second shot, it's good, so Murray makes both of his free throws. Reynolds. Ford. Mitchell, nice shot, won't go. And it's going to be out of bounds off the Rams. So it's going to be Norfuse ball. Mitchell inbounds at the homes. He thought about shooting it. He kicks it back over to Reynolds. Norfuse resets into Reynolds. He goes up. And they're going to call him for the offensive foul. So Hedlund will be taking it out. Yes, Hedlund will. And they're trailing by just eight points. Northview had took that lead up to 12, but uh, Hedlund's been able to trim back down to eight. Of course, taking it out for Hedlund will be Tay Washington. And uh, we're trying to figure out what's going on here between the coaches and the refs. Coach, uh, Janaska Flemings of Northview and Coach Robert Williams of Headland. So uh, just kind of recapping the first half, the score at the end of one was 17-13 Northview. They took a 44-34 lead into halftime, and they're leading right now 54-46. Uh, lead score in the first half for Northview was Billy Ford with 11, 8 from Terrell Harris, 8 from Sean Holmes, and 8 from Malik Johnson. And for Hedlund, the lead score was Jimmy Spann with 11 points, 7 points from Tay Washington, and 5 points from Ryan Murray. They were the top scores in the first half. So Northview with the pressure on Hedlund. Here comes Hedlund all the way down by number 3 with the easy basket. He misses. Rebound by Malik. Johnson. Yep, that's going to be a foul on Simpson that happened right in front of me. I heard it, and, and I think everybody else in the gym heard that. I think so, man. I mean, looking uh, looking up here, you're, you're right there in the action. Of course, Northview's taking out the ball. Mitchell. Ball into A.J. Williams. Mitchell thought about it, but... For what? Over the homes. And it's kicked out by the Rams, so 
The ball will remain with the Cougars. 2.20 left in the third. Holmes takes it out for the Cougars. And he threw it right into the hands of Spann. Nice reverse layup, and it wouldn't go. And a great hustle that time by Mitchell. Holmes comes up with it, and uh, Northview calls a timeout. So with 2.10 left in the fourth, 54 Northview, 46 hit them. The Cougars will inbound the ball after the timeout. Goes into Harris. Over to A.J. Williams, who's been quiet tonight. He's scoreless. And Williams is a dynamic scorer. And they stripped it away from Johnson. And a great play that time by number 12, Tay Washington. Four goes up, misses. And it's saved by the Cougars. And they go for a three. And an over-the-back call. Right now, the Cougars are playing a little out of control. Well, I don't know, Mitt. It's like, you know, they just, you know, right now, as you can see, Coach Fleming, he's, he's very frustrated with his team. Again, here in this third quarter, they had to lead by 12, and now this lead has been cut down by two possessions. Yeah, it's down to six points. Here comes the Rams. The All Rams the doing a great job of moving the ball, and that's going to be a foul on Johnson. That's going to be three. Of course, you can hear Coach Fleming saying, watch his feet, watch his feet. Don't know what that means, but, man, I tell you what, watch your feet. That's, of course, number 40 for Hetland. That's going to be Ryan Murray at the line. He'll be shooting two. He's three or six from the line tonight. Misses the first one. He made his last two. He missed his first two. But uh, he made it slash to him. He missed that one. Second shot attempt is good. He's one of two at the line of this possession. So the Cougars have got to do a better job of controlling the ball. Right now, they are not. Four goes up. And they miss, and Hedlin gets the rebound, and they're off to the races. And it's blocked by Johnson, and that will be his third block of the third period. At one point in time, the pressure was on Hedlund to get in this game. Now the pressure is on Northview, and there's another deflection. Northview has the ball. And another turnover. And what's happening? They are getting in too big of a hurry. What's the hurry? <laughs> you know? I agree. Damn it, what's the hurry? Slow it down. You, when you turn the ball over, you give your opponents an opportunity to score. And that's what they've done. They've turned the ball over. I've got them down for five turnovers here in the third. And uh, they've let Hedlund back into this game. They really have. You know, at one point in time, I told you, man, I said, I don't think Hedlund can get themselves back into this game, but I tell you what, the way Northview is playing, that is an open door opportunity for a team like Hedlund to get in this game. And Hedlund has been playing some great ball, especially in that second quarter, to even get this game within reach. Block Johnson, five Johnson. another block. Right now, Hedlund's on a 20. Traveling. Right now, Hedlund's on a 20 to 10 run. So they've doubled Northview scoring output here in the period. We're down to 36 seconds left in the third. Northview's got to get the ball across midcourt, and they do. A.J. Williams goes for a three, and he knocks it in. That's his first basket of the game. And it couldn't have come at a better time for the uh, Cougars. The big man for Hitler, number 34, Andrew Morgan, is fouled. So Morgan will be shooting two from the line. Morgan is a senior for Hitler. Boy, he, he, he got the bounce that time. He really did. 
He is three of three from the line with three points. And it's back to a seven point lead. Northview just haven't been able to pull away, but this has been a, a big period for the Rams. So he makes both of his free throws. A.J. Williams goes up off the glass, won't go, and Hillen gets the rebound. And a shot at the buzzer. Oh, oh no! my God! From half court, number 24. Unbelievable. Reeves hits one from half court. <laughs> Unbelievable shot. Boy, oh, boy, take a look at this replay. I tell you what, Mitt, I did not see that coming. And just like that, Hedlund is down by three points. Hey, and, and a lot of times, even just, you know, players are just throwing the ball up to try to get something off. But he knocks that with a back court for a big three. So we've come to the end of three, and the score is Northview 57, Hedlund 54. We'll be back with the fourth period of action after this timeout. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. And Okay, we're set to begin the fourth period of action. We're on the campus of Northview High School. And I tell you what, Helen has fought their way back into this game. And they had a big three-pointer from back court. From behind the three-point, from behind the, the half-court line. By uh, Reeves. And uh, not scored Northview in that period, 20 to 13. And they come out attacking here in the fourth. Rebound put back good. And just like that, Mitt, Hedlund has gotten this lead down to one point, 57 to 56 in the in the fourth quarter. Reynolds goes in up, and they're going to count it. Good shot that time by Mr. Reynolds. And that foul is on number three. And that's going to be five on him. So Simpson fouls out. With the, uh, and we've only played. The, Simpson fouls out with the uh, 7-12 left in the fourth period. And to replace him is number two, Jimmy Spann. Spann had 13 points. At the line is Jostaro Reynolds. He had two points in the first half. That gives him a total of four. Northview up by three. They led by as many as 14. And I'm going to say this, even though this game is, uh, Steven, they're fixing the clock right now, but if Hedlin wins this game, Mitt, it's going to be because of that half-court shot at the end of the third quarter. Count on it. If Hedlin wins this game, that would have been the dagger for Northview. That can definitely be a momentum changer. But Reynolds does a good job, a three-point play, and Northview's back up by four. What Northview's got to do is get back into that press and create some turnovers and uh, try to get some points off turnovers. They haven't done that here in the second half. Hedlund is attacking the basket. Four goes up high for the rebound for the Cougars. And a bad pass, but the Cougars were able to save it. A.J. Williams for a three, won't go. It's rebounded by Hedlund. And Hedlund's getting down court. Man open from the top of the key. And it's a three. And... That three was by, I believe, number 30. Uh, the three-pointer, yeah, the three-pointer was by uh, LeBrandon Mix. Yeah, so at the line is Billy Ford. Ford is two of two from the line tonight. And 
he makes that one. It's, it was a one-point game. It's back to a two-point North release, 61-59. Hedlund has really started attacking the basket. So Ford sinks both of his free throws. That gives him uh, 14 points for the game. Northview, they got to go back to being, they got to go back to putting the pressure on Hedlund. Right, they, they were successful at it in the first half, putting pressure and forcing some turnovers. And they're going to call that foul on number 21. That's going to be Jalen Thomas on the play. That was an over-the-back back, over the back foul. So they are in the bonus. So at the line is number 34, Andrew Morgan, who's perfect from the line tonight, 4-4 with uh, six points. Northview's up by just three points. They had things pretty much in control. They led by 10 points at halftime. So Morgan misses the free throw and it's rebounded by the Cougars. 6-17 left in the fourth. Johnson. Ford thought about it. Ford goes in off the glass, won't go. And it's rebounded by Murray. And I tell you, Hillen's coming out. When they get that ball, they take off. Three-pointer won't go. Rebounded by number 34, Morgan, for two. And again, Hedlund's down by one point. Watch out. There's a turnover by Hedlund. Number 30 takes it all the way. He's going to be fouled in the count for two. Yeah, he, he does. And that's number 30 for Hedlund. Nix and... It's going to give Helen the first lead of the game, 63 to 62, with uh, 5:36 left. Admit if I'm not mistaken, uh, Helen has not led the entire game. Correct? That's correct. Well, I think they hit the first two, and then Northview hit the next four. So at the line is number 30. Mix. He puts his team up by two. I'm telling you, you can't sit on a lead. You got to lead. You got to keep pouring it on. The turnovers is what's really hurt the Cougars. Billy Ford for two. And again, you can't sleep on this Hedlund team. In the beginning, they started out slow, but I tell you what, Hedlund has definitely put the pressure on Northview as his game is now tied at 64 apiece. The yeah, the man. pressure's definitely on the Cougars. And the shot by Morgan is good. And the big man with the easy two, 66-64 with five minutes left in regulation. It's Morphew looking to try to put some answers up. Ford off the glass. I tell you what, uh, Ford, he, he, he's, he's coming through. Ford has really put the team on his back in this fourth quarter because Northview right now, Mitt, they just really have not been taking care of the ball. These turnovers have led Hetland to get right back into this game. We got a good ball game here. 17 points for Billy Ford. He's 4-4 from the line. Make it 5-5. Five of five. So that cuts the Hetland lead down to one point. 6-6 six to 6-5. Six to six to if he makes this one, we'll have a tie game. And he misses. And Hedlund gets the rebound. 4.53 left in the fourth. They're up by 1, 6-6, six 6-5. Six, six After trailing at halftime, 44. It's going to be off of Hedlund. Northview led 44 to 34 at halftime, and Hedlund had a big third period. They outscored the Cougars uh, 20 to 13 in the third. By court, Ford slams it in. Billy Ford. Now that's a momentum changer there. 
that could change the momentum back to Northview. So here comes Hetland. Back in it. The and big, they lose the ball out of bounds. The big so, man couldn't hold on to it. So Helen loses the ball out of bounds. And it's going to be Northview's ball. They're up by one point. 67 to 66. Ford said, I'm going to take over. And he goes in and draws the foul. Billy Ford. I'll tell you what, Bit. Everyone in this gym tonight is getting their money's worth. I believe so far this has been the best basketball game to be on the mic with you tonight. It's been back and forth. When you thought Hetland was out of this game, they put up a fight to get this lead. Uh, well, they're down by one as he makes one of two. 20 points for Billy Ford. We've had the Malik. We've had the... We've had the Malik Johnson show. Now we got the Billy Ford show. So that puts Northview back up by one. 67, 66. And that's five on, uh, I think it says five on, is that five on Murray? I think no. so. Okay, no, it's no, not. No five? He goes out. Okay. Ford makes both of his free throws. That gives him 21 points. And Northview a three-point lead. Helen 4-3. It's short. Rebounded by who? Billy Ford. Here we go with the Billy Ford show. Ford takes it to the hoop. Oh, it rolls out. That foul is on Malik Johnson. That's going to be four on him. So Malik is in foul trouble. And that's going to be sending Hetlin to the line, shooting for two. For Hetlin, that's going to be... No, it'll, it'll be a, a one, one foul. One, one foul. One bonus. Like, what is that, man? So at the line for Hetlin is number two. That's going to be Jimmy Spann. Spann has 13 points. He had 11 in the first half, and he's uh, put up two more here in the second half. And he makes that one. Hedlund is down 67-69 with 3.54 left in the fourth quarter. So it's been a different kind of game. So Span makes both of his free throws, and it's down to a one-point game, 69-68. Back into the game for Hedlund is number 40, Ryan Murray. Billy Ford, who's taking this game on his shoulder. And the Cougars turn the ball over. And a foul on number 12, Michael Reynolds. So now going to the line is number two, Jimmy Spann. He's six and seven from the line tonight. He'll be shooting two. They're in the double bonus. And that was good. And uh, we're tied at 69 apiece with 3.41 left in the fourth period. It spanned his fist when it will put his team up by one. And it's good. So Hitler takes the lead again, 70 to 69. Hitler's putting the pressure on Northview. There's a turnover. Oh, well, and Hitler turned it right back over to Northview. At that time, uh, A.J. Williams didn't have an outlet pass to anybody. That's over to Sean Holmes. Holmes drives into Johnson. Holmes goes for a three. It's off the mark. And it's rebounded by Ford for the basket. Billy Ford. 71-70, Northview. Billy Ford is putting on a show here in the fourth quarter. And 
and Hedlund throws it away. So it's Northview's ball. Substitutions into the game for Northview. Holmes comes out and back in is Jastero Reynolds and uh, Terrell Harris. Three minutes left. It's a one-point Northview lead. This game could go either way for either team. Three by Northview. Misses. And traveling. So Hillen committed two straight turnovers. And uh, it'll give Northview another scoring opportunity. But uh, Northview going for those threes. And I, uh, that's not very well advised right now. No. Williams for a three off the mark, and what happens? Hedlin gets the rebound. And traveling, Hedlin commits three straight turnovers. Three. Three straight turnovers. But no points for Northview off the three Hedlin turnovers. We'll see if they can capitalize on the mistake this possession. Both teams right now, they're trying to win the game. Both teams really just have to slow the game, slow the pace of the game down. It could go either way right now with Northview leading by one point. Williams is fouled. That foul is on number 34, Andrew Morgan. And that's five on him. That's five on Morgan, and he had a big second half. We got substitution coming in as the Brandon Mix is going to be coming in for Ryan Murray. And shooting at the line for Northview will be the one, the only, 34. Yeah. 34, yeah, he, he fouls out, and he leaves the game with... 12 points, and I tell you what, he he made some key baskets and key free throws in the uh, second half. The big man, of course, is not happy about that. He really has played a key part in this fourth quarter, but him fouling out, I think Hedlund still can get in this game. A.J. Williams at the line. This is his first visit to the line tonight. He has his one field goal, a three-pointer here in the second half. And he and misses. So Hedlund on the run, they are attacking, and Malik Johnson blocks it. Shot, won't go, and Hedlund gets the rebound, and the third time goes. And it's a one-point Hedlund lead. Billy Ford goes in, won't go, and he didn't get any help. And he misses. Johnson. A.J. Williams off the glass. Won't go. He catches the rebound. Goes up and he's fouled. Hedlund on top. 72 to 71. And at the line for Northview, that's going to be number three. That's going to be Anthony Williams. He makes the first one. A.J. Williams at the line. He, he makes the first, and we're tied at 72 apiece. He can put his team ahead if he makes this one, and he does. So Northview wants a timeout with 150 left in the fourth. They're leading by one, 73 to 72. Hillen takes the ball out after the Northview timeout. We have 150 left, a one-point Northview lead. And Hillen has the ball. And they have been attacking the basket. Inside pass to the big man. He misses, got the layup. That was a good fall up that time from number 30. Nix. And Hillen goes up by one. Billy Ford to Malik, up, misses, shot up, won't go, and Hedlund gets the rebound, and uh, it's going to be a Northview foul. Northview had two good shots, and neither one would fall for them. 
Again, sloppy ball control movement, whatever you want to call it, against Northview tonight. They just really could not hang on to the ball. They had to slow down. And that's, and that's five on A.J. Williams, so he'll be leaving the game with five points, and uh, he made Northview's last two free throws. So it was not a good night for A.J. Williams. He got in the early foul trouble. He picked up a couple of early fouls, and it just kind of took him out of his game. So in to replace him is number 14, Kendrick Mitchell. And at the line for Hedlund is number 30, LeBrannon Nix. Nix is one of one from the line tonight. He has 14 points. And it's a two-point Hedlund lead. And he can make it uh, an even three if he makes this one. And he misses, and Johnson gets the rebound. And a poor pass that time by Reynolds. And a good defensive play by the Rams. And honestly, North, you caught a break on that one there because if he'd have got it, boy, you had about three Hedlund guys down on the other end of the court. Wide open shot. North, North is missing his shots. They're getting good shots, but Billy Ford puts it up for two. We're tied at 75 apiece, under a minute left. Hedlund. We'll see if they go for the last shot. And they go into number 40. And he travels. That's right, he lost his footing that time Ryan Murray did. So Northview will get the ball back with 33 seconds left. And the score is tied. And here you would need a you don't want to foul. You do not want to foul if you're Northview. Eat time off the clock. Try to win this game. Ford goes up, and he draws the foul. That's the go-to guy, Billy Ford. You're right about that. So that's going to send Ford to the line. Of course, Ford, he would need to make both of these to put pressure on Hetland to go down on the other end of the court. At the line is Billy Ford. He made his last three. He makes that one, which is big. Big, and it puts Northview up by one. So with 20 seconds left, Northview leads at 76 to 75. Billy Forrest at the line for the Cougars. And he's, Ford has 26 points. Had 11 in the first half, and he's come out and put up 15 more in the second half. So again, Ford needs this one here. Again, putting that pressure on Hedlund to go down and make two. And Ford makes both of them. Hedlund gets the ball, 20 seconds left, and the ball. And the ball is stolen by Malik Johnson. And Billy Ford is fouled. A great effort that time by Malik Johnson getting in that pass lane and forcing the turnover. So going to the line is Billy Ford, who has uh, 27 points. So uh, if he makes both of these, he can put his team up by four points. And you can hang it up. But if he misses one of these, Hetland is still in the game. They would need to go down and shoot three. Hey, you saw the guy hit that one from behind half court at halftime. We have seen that. And he makes the first one. Yeah, that was a good shot. So that gives him 28 points. Billy Ford, he's come through here in this fourth period, he the really, second half. He really has. So Ford... One of one from the line. He's this one here. He so makes Ford both. makes both of the free throws, and that gives him 29 points. And we have timeout on the court with uh, 8.9 seconds left. Northview's leading by 479 to 75. Now. 
Allen inbounds the ball, and they have seven seconds to do something with it. Three-point shot. It won't go, and it's rebounded by Reynolds, and Northview will win it. 79 to 75. Wow, what a finish. A great effort by the Hibbum Rams. Ah, uh, yes. And at one and at one point in time, at one point in time, the uh, Northview they had this they had this game, they had a lead at one point in time by 16 points. But you gotta give it to the Hitler Rams. They played their hearts out. They got this game right where they wanted it. They lose this game by 4.79 to 75. And Hetland, I tell you what, you could not count them out in this game. But Northview did a really good job by maintaining the ball at the last minute when it needed counting in this game. So again, big win for Northview here at home, 79-75. And my player of the game, and I'm sure it's going to be the exact same as yours, Mitt, but I'm actually going to go with another guy. I'm going to go with the big man here, uh, Malik Johnson. At one point in time, he really put this team on his back, especially in that second and third quarter. But I tell you what, Mitt, I already know who your your uh, player of the game is because I tell you what, the fourth quarter was all about him. I tell you what, I'm going to have to disagree with you on the MVP <laughs> of the game tonight. Uh, I've got to give it to number four, Billy Ford. Yes. Billy Ford showed up big time tonight. Yes, he, he did. did. He came through big with 29 points. He had 11 points at halftime. He came out and put up 18 more in the second half when his team had to have those points. So it was a great performance by Billy Ford, and we've seen him do that a couple of games this year. We he is, he's, he's an outstanding player. Now, recapping the scoring by periods, Northview led 17-13 at the end of one. They took a 10-point lead in the halftime, 54-34, and Hedlund cut that lead down to three points at the end of three. It was 57-54, uh, to 54 and Northview went at 79-75. to 75. Now, Northview led the entire game up to 5.36 left in the fourth period when they took a 63 to 62 lead but Helen committed some crucial turnovers late in the game and Northview was able to capitalize on them and come out victorious now the lead score for the uh, losing Hedlund Ram was number two Jimmy Spann had 17 points uh, Tate Washington had 11 points, 13 from LeBrana Nix, 12 from Ryan Murphy, 10 from Andrew Morgan, and 5 from Taylor Reeves. And Reeves hit that big three-pointer from behind half court at halftime. The leading scorer for Northview, none other than my MVP for the night. That's number four, Billy Ford with 29 points. Malik Johnson had a big second half, big first and second half. He ended up with 13 points, 8 points from Sean Holmes, uh, 11 points from Terrell Harris, 2 points from Asus, 5 points from Michael Reynolds, uh, then 5 points from Justaro Reynolds, and 5 points from A.J. Williams to cap out the score. So that's going to wrap it up for us tonight from Northview High School where the Cougars win it 79-75. to On behalf of Brandon Bryant, this is Mick Kirkin saying good night and thanks for watching the Scenic Sports Network.